know there's a quiz. You're right, you're right. But I haven't studied though. Do you think you can teach me? Um, I guess. The clock says 11, so I know it's biochemistry. Oh, we have a quiz me? today, y'all. What's it over? ETC, electron transfer chain. So there's things you'll need to know. Starting with the most important thing. What electron flow? Yeah. First you start with NADH from TCA and glycolysis NADH dehydrogenase is the complex used for this Please remember, don't forget, don't forget. we hang out in the matrix Now we get to the membrane where the complex 1 does its thing NADHQ oxidoreduct Taste is a combo of the two pumping for protons to the intermembrane space. Two electrons transfer to uh -huh. FMM prosthetic group. Bill then there's Bill iron sulfur clusters sliding them to the cupule. Now back to complex two where FADH2 comes through. Better known as succinate another dehydrogenase. FADH2's reduced porting clusters return to oh, yeah, electrons yeah. into the world when containing co enzyme Q. This picks up the electron next. The nation's third complex. This one has those two components. It's a little bit perplex. Cytochrome B, yeah, it's first with those clusters back again. Pushing it to cytochrome C1 is good old faithful friend. If you hadn't guessed it yet, it's cytochrome BC1 complex. Pushing now for protons with electrons. Heading to the next cytochrome C oxidase. Now this fourth complex don't play. Pumping four protons from the matrix, forming water like it's fun. Electrons pump to cytochrome. Chrome C so that this can be done. This the protein that is free cause Cyto C1 stuck on three. Cyto Chrome C carries one so you know it must repeat. Three more proteins then come in. Now four electrons are on flea. Flowing two copper A then heme A and heme A3. Note the hemes are each held by its Cyto Chrome's respectfully. Now they're transferred to the last part which is copper B. Water is reduced so you know ETC is now complete. Ha ha ha